Hola YouTubers, um, today I'm going to be doing a video on things that you need when bringing home a hedgehog or just emergency supplies, um, a good list of things to have. Um, I'm also going to be doing a cage tour of my hedgehog's double decker cage. Um, so let's get this show on the road. First things that you're going to need or the most important things is food. <laughs> um, picking a good food is important. Picking something with a high protein count, something between 25 and 30 is ideal for protein, and something 15% in fat or under. Um, you can get a little bit higher for babies using a kitten chow, um, but that's just something that you're going to need. If you're getting them from a breeder, a lot of the time they'll send you home with like a two or three week supply. You can choose to use that to switch them to a different food, or you can go out, buy the same food that your breeder fed your hedgehogs, and choose it that way. Um, I These are the two foods that I feed. Um, something that I do not recommend is something like this, a hedgehog food. Hedgehog foods are usually really bad. They... Um, this one contains a ton of dried mealworms, which can cause constipation if overfed, as well as this being like blood meal. That's what's in there. So that's just not, again, anything that's for hedgehogs is pretty much a no-no. Um, picking good cat food. That's what you want to feed. You don't want to feed stuff like this. Um, where I live, they, we have really bad water, so I use bottled water. Um, I use the baby kind just because it has less fluoride. Um, something I didn't know when I got my hedgehogs is that you can't use distilled water. There's no minerals, there's no vitamins, um, can be very dangerous to your hedgehog. Another thing you're going to need is snuggle sacks or igloos, somewhere for your hedgehog to live. Um, one of my hedgehogs loves snuggle sacks. That's what she chooses to sleep in. My other hedgehog likes igloos. So, for her, I use an igloo and then I have pieces of fleece kind of stuck in there so she can uh, kind of tunnel and dig. She likes that a lot. You're going to need something to bring home your hedgehog in. Any kind of carrier will do. Um, this is just one of the few that I have. Um, another thing that you're definitely going to need is liners or bedding. I prefer liners. There's no chances of upper respiratory infections. These are easier to clean. Um, they're cheaper in the long run because you don't have to change them as much. It's easier to track what, where is dirty. It's easier to change them. The liners I make are a three-liner system. They've got two pieces of fleece. I left this one open so you could see in a towel underneath. So if you do decide to use beddings, Use something that's a recycled paper. This is eco bedding and this is Carefresh. I used to use them until I started making my own liners. <clears throat> Sorry, I can't breathe. My asthma is awful right now. But you can also use aspen shavings. Aspen shavings have a big... They get rid of a lot of dust. So they cause upper respiratory infections in some hedgehogs. They also can be sharp and give splinters. So if you do decide to choose a bedding, I would highly recommend using a paper bedding. These also do have a higher chance of causing dust and upper respiratory infections than liners compared to liners, but some people just like them more, so it's really based on that. Or if you're not a good sewer and don't want to spend a lot of money on buying liners, this is a good idea. Another thing I have are play pens. For bonding time, um, bonding is pretty important if you have an explorer hedgehog. These are... Good to keep them safe. <clears throat> Another thing you're going to need is a wheel. Choosing a safe wheel is pretty important. Um, I only like the Carolina Storm bucket wheels because they are the safest. They're incredibly easy to clean and they're pretty versatile. So they are completely smooth on the bottom. They don't have any of the ridges that other wheels have. So the ridges can hurt some hedgehog's feet. If you have a hedgehog who likes to run a lot, <clears throat> some hedgehogs have been known to run up to 12 miles in a single night. So 
those little ridges can really damage their feet. As well as, um, you can't use anything that's made of wire or anything that has, like, mesh. It can snap their nails off and break their legs. It's pretty horrific. Also, um, there's a wheel out there called the Silent Spinner Wheel, which is extremely dangerous. Please don't use this wheel. The first night I brought home a Rescue Olive, it actually has snapped her nail off at the base of her foot. And there was blood everywhere. She screamed loudly. It was, it was horrific. That it was just the worst night ever. So, so I think the only other wheel that's recommended for hedgehogs is called the comfort wheel. It does have those ridges, and it is pretty loud. I've heard from people that it gets pretty loud over time. These ones are like, yeah, you can't hear them at all. So that's nice. The only thing that you can hear when you use these wheels is like the little like tapping of their feet on the side. It's kind of cute. But, um, yeah, another necessary thing you're going to need is a litter box. I mean, I guess you could choose not to litter box train your hedgehog. I don't know why you wouldn't, though. Um, these go underneath their wheels. Uh, I put paper towel in them, so that's why I keep paper towel on hand. Um, just a few layers underneath for litter training. The, the pans that I make come from these dishwashing tubs. I use a box cutter to cut around the bottom and it turns out like this. It's, these are like a dollar. So it's it's very cheap to make them this way. I also keep a few of these around my house for this way I get baths in. So it's easier. I don't have to like clean the sink and do all of that. So another thing you're gonna need for baths are a toothbrush. You're gonna need this to clean their quills, clean their poopy feet. It's so much fun. <clears throat> Another hygiene thing that you're going to need is nail clippers. Human nail clippers work best. They um, are the easiest to use with a hedgehog. So just little nail clippers work really well. Something that is more of an emergency thing, you can choose not to get this, but is a good thing to have is septic powder. This is called Quick Blood Stopper. It's, in case you cut their nails too short, you can put this on their, on their little bloody feet. Oh my god, that sounds horrible. But you can use that to stop the bleeding. They can get really sick if they bleed too much. Another necessary thing you're going to need is mealworms. Um, these are just regular mealworms. I don't really like superworms. They're too big. They're really high in fat. Um, so I keep my mealworms in the fridge. Good thing to have, um, make sure you don't overfeed them mealworms. It can cause them to be obese. It can cause them to get constipated. And But they should really just be a treat. Um, I use these little tongies <laughs> to pull them out because I don't like touching them. <laughs> Another thing that you're going to absolutely need to have are heavy ceramic bowls. Hedgehogs will turn over bowls if they're, you know digging or something else so the heavier ceramic the better um they can still knock these over but just not as easily i use these instead of water bottles for their water too um water bottles will constantly leak <clears throat> no matter how good the water bottle you're gonna have leakage as well as um it can injure their neck craning to get water from a water bottle as well as um can clip their tongue and it can um, cause them to be hydrate dehydrated from not giving them enough water. So, I mean, some hedgehogs will use them just fine their entire life. Some people actually prefer them because if you use a bedding, the bedding will get in the side of the water, which is another advantage to using fleece. But my girls don't like water bottles. That's why I keep those on hand. Um, another necessary thing you're going to need is a thermometer. I use this one. It's got a little probe at the end. You can stick it in their cage in the corner. Um, keeping your hedgehog at a pretty warm temperature right now is pretty good. 76.2. Um, so they don't hibernate and they can die from hibernating. African pygmy hedgehogs should not get too cool. I think 72 is about the lowest you can keep them. 72 to 80 is ideal. Um, 
you're going to need something to keep your cages or room that you keep them in at the right temperature. I got this small space heater. I think it was like $12 at Walmart. <clears throat> but since I have two large cages, this was a lot more cost effective for me than buying large um, ceramic heat emitters. If you do decide to get a ceramic heat emitter, which is a black bulb that creates no sunlight, <clears throat> no light at all, you're going to need that to keep your cage at the right temp. You're also going to need dimmer bulbs, um, the lamps that they go into. You're going to need a thermostat to keep them at the right temperature. And just, it's kind of more expensive to do it that way. Um, some things that are nice to keep on hand, but you don't, they're not essential things, are a worn t-shirt of yours. If you've slept in this for a couple nights or worn it during the day, just make sure it's got no perfume or cologne or anything on it. When you bring your baby home, putting this inside of their cage with them to sleep in and snuggle in will help them bond with you better. It will help them get used to your scent. Some other things that are good to have are... This is called carnivore care. You can use this or Hills A&D food. This is in case your hedgehog stops eating. If your hedgehog ever doesn't eat for more than 24 hours, it is necessary that you syringe feed them. Having large feeding syringes with soft tips is another good thing to have on hand. Um, I do keep this around just in case. As, long, as well as I keep syringes around with Pepto-Bismol in case they get diarrhea, which can cause them to get de dehydrated very quickly. Um, this is just a great thing to keep on hand. Another thing to have on hand is hand warmers. I get the large ones just because they were like a dollar. But these are super, super, super like important to have. In case your hedgehog ever decided they wanted to hibernate, they got sick, even though you kept them at the right temperature, this will warm them up pretty quickly. Also, um, if you live in a cold state, this is a pretty good thing to keep on hand in case you ever need to go to the vet. I keep these on hand, and when we travel, if we just even have to go to a short trip to the vet, I keep them in their carriers. Other good things to have are baby wipes. I prefer non-scented because hedgehogs are very sensitive to smells. And these also are um, safe to use on your hedgehog if they've got like poopy feet. You can wipe them off real quick. Um, baby hedgehogs are pretty messy. I also use these to clean out their wheels every morning. I use these in the, these bags. I empty out their litter boxes in the bag, um, wipe down their wheel, throw everything in there, and throw it away. Um, so yeah, these are baby Gannics. These are really good. Um, you know, no chlorine, no other bad stuff. They keep in baby wipes. Another thing that I keep on hand is Aveeno Baby Eczema Therapy. <clears throat> this is an oatmeal bath. I live in Colorado. The air is extremely dry here, which is another reason why I keep a humidifier in here. But when their skin gets dry, um, you add this to their bath water. Give them a good scrub in. I don't use any soap when I bathe my hedgehogs because it can dry their skin out. They don't really need it. But... This in the water, and then I put a couple drops of vitamin E oil in the like a rinse water and dump it over them, as well as this in the water, because you don't want to rinse this off. Then Humilax spray. This stuff is awesome. This is if your hedgehog does have dry skin. Um, you're gonna spray this on them between baths, keep their skin hydrated, and keep them healthy. Um what else do we have? Let's see. Toys. Um, Olive <laughs> loves to push these little balls around, which is hilarious. I hear her doing it all night. She moves them all over. Some hedgehogs do play with toys. Some don't. Both of mine do, which I guess is pretty rare, but they like them. Also, paper t toilet paper tubes. Um, I cut them. Some people don't. I'm just kind of overly cautious I guess you could say I cut them down the middle so they couldn't get stuck some like to keep them on their heads but when they want to get out of them can't um, I also round the edges like if this is one edge that I didn't leave around I just kind of show you um, it's so they don't poke their eyes got a crinkle tunnel and chewing sticks actually she's the only hedgehog I've ever seen that likes them she chews on them it actually keeps her teeth clean she loves them 
She has a larger wheel than Lila. This is also a Carolina Storm wheel. Um, she, when I bought her, I actually bought the other wheel for her. And she was arching her back and raising her nose, which can cause, you know, joint problems when running. If you see your hedgehog has to lift their nose to run, um, or her back is arched, or his back is arched while they're running, that means the wheel you have is too small, in that you need to get another one. Um, 12 inches is usually like the basic size for a hedgehog. Um, babies can still run on the larger size. Um, again, litter box paper towels in it. Um, there's the litter box. She's got the heavy, she's got ergonomic bowls, which I guess are easier for them to get in and out of. Um, this is her corner um, where she sleeps. It's actually an igloo under blankets, and then there's blankets inside. She likes it really dark, so it's what she prefers. You'll kind of have to test out the water. Some like snuggle sacks, some like those, some like dens, some like wood hideouts. Just figure out what yours likes. Um, it's got the two pee pads. I make two, so one under each side. The wheel one I change more often. I usually do that every single day. Um, this one is like, depends on if they get food on it or not. But Also, I make a fitted liner one. You can, if I pull on it, you can see. goes up over the sides of the chloroplast tucks in underneath the bottom. Um, you can like, see, pull it out. Tops are sharp right here, um, and it also helps retain heat in. You don't have to, again, but it's just a good idea. Here's the baby's cage. Sorry, it's so dark. There's nothing in here because that was her wheel out there. She's asleep right there in her snuggle sack. She likes these little stuffed toys. Olive just ignores them. She actually carries them around. Sometimes I find them in her water bowl in the morning. She likes to try to drown them, so... Yeah, she also has the, here's the chloroplast underneath with the sharp edge. And that tucks over. It goes underneath. Just tuck it in. Um, this is my double-decker cage. Um, I built this, and it's also on a stand. Um, this whole drawer, it's like a drawer. It actually, like, pulls out and is easy cleaning. But for here... These clamps are sweet. Sorry, I'm trying to look through the video. Uh -huh. But you use two, like, because these are for, like, clamping stuff from, like, the home supply store. And, yeah. It's pretty sweet. You just, I built the cage like normal, but I put zip ties right here to hold this part on. And then the clamps will hold it up. As well as I use plexiglass right here. It keeps more light in during the day for their light schedules. Um, 12 to 14 hours of sunlight is critical for them to keep them from hibernating. So, that's their cage and everything pretty much I need. Oh, and, um, this is for washing their bedding. I use the free and clear kind, so no scent, no anything else. Also, you can bleach this, and it won't stain fleece at all, which is great. Um, I either do that or use vinegar to clean, um. Anything scented can bother them, also can irritate their skin, so I'm just overly cautious about things like that. Um, don't want any smells to bother them, they are very sensitive to smells. And I think that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching my video, shout out to the Hedgehog Welfare Society. If you're looking at getting a hedgehog, think about adopting a hedgehog. Adopting is better, there's lots of hedgehogs out there who would love to be your hedgehog. Um... Thanks again, and have a good night.